video, we're going to review the different tools available to create a new plane. A new plane could be used for creating some geometry or within a tool path. We're going to start by creating a plane using dynamic planes. First, we need to place the origin of this new plane. Next, we need to position and rotate the gnomon in the correct orientation needed for this plane. When positioning it, we can enter in a specific value, or we can snap to existing geometry. Once we're happy with the orientation of our plane, we can give our plane a name and click OK. Next, we're going to create a plane by geometry. We'll need to select the geometry we want the plane to reference from. We can review the different available options for this plane. Once we've found the one that we desire, we can click OK and give this plane a name. We can also create a plane by solid face. Again, we can review our different planes available and click OK. You'll notice when this plane is created, it is defaulting to have the origin in the middle of the face. We can move that origin as needed. Lastly, we can create a plane that is rotated from an existing plane. In this case, we're going to use the top plane to rotate from. So we'll need to make sure that we're set to use top plane. Now in this case, I want to rotate about our x-axis. So our rotation is going to be negative 34.095, as I happen to know that angle. You can click OK and give this plane a name as well. And we can move the origin in this case as well. If you liked this video and would like to see more tips, tricks, and how-tos, please visit us at inhousesolutions.com and like us on your favorite social media feeds.